Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at this PlayStation 2 power supply. I picked the uh, PlayStation 2 up on eBay about about a month ago, I would reckon now I'd say, and it had no power. Now I've taken out the power supply and I can verify that there is no like, voltage going into this. So if I put my probes here, switch it on, I get nothing. So I have diagnosed it and I have figured out the problem. So I'll show you what it is. There's a resistor around the back that's measuring 33 ohms. It's supposed to read 333 ohms. So I'll flip it around and I'll show you what I mean. Now, just before I continue, like just because there's no power going to this, there is a capacitor here that stores voltage, and I think it's here. So I'll show you, even though it's not working, there's still 130 volts there, even though it's not plugged in. So you have to be really careful working with these. So I'm just going to let that drop down a bit and when it's safe to work on it I will show you the uh, resistor that's causing all this problem. Okay, so that's at 900 millivolts now, so it's dropping, it'll be safe enough to work for now. So, <coughs> if I went to all this mode here, I was checking resistors, and just say, for instance, there is, um, uh, let me find one, say, I'm just trying to find the value of one now, like I can see them, there's loads here, but, So that's 200 something, I can't really see, but we get 208 there, so that's good, It's it, I can't actually see what the value is, but it's two, 200 and something, and if we check over here, just say there's a 244 it looks like, it's 238, so they are fine, but if you look right under here, there's a 330 ohm resistor, but it only measures 32 ohms. So that's actually what's causing the problem I have and so I change that now and we see if we get the 12 volts back. I'll switch over the scope to do this. Okay so this resistor here is the one that's measuring 30 ohms, it's supposed to be 330 as you can see so I'm going to replace that now and I'll be replacing it with a 331 ohm resistor because again I don't have any 330 but that should be fine and that should fix the problem hopefully. Yeah, so this is the uh, resistor I've removed, it was the um, 330 of sparks speed, but it's only reading 33 ohms. So now, when I plug it in, if I check again, turn it on, we have our 12 volt rail back. So that little tiny component is what was causing this whole issue, and um, I did replace it with, I know it was a 
uh, it was a 331 ohm resistor that I replaced it with but that's not going to make a difference so I'm going to end the video here and uh, hopefully you liked it and I'll see you on the next one and